Hey guys, how's it going here with uh, Oblivion? After that stupid mistake I did in the last episode, we're gonna actually go proceed onwards to Cloud City, what must have, whatever, Cloud Castle, whatever they fucking called it, I forget what it's called now, great. Cloud Ruler Temple. Okay. And they're on the fucking horses! Fuck you horses! Da, 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 da. My smack horse! No, just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna save because the say auto save there is useless. When I mean useless, it, you're fast traveling, you should auto save, God. Grand so, map. Actually, let's look. Let, let's look at. Uh, save on rest. Save on. Wait. Save on travel. But it didn't save on travel. This, you know, yes, bullshit. This is the Emperor's son, Martin II. Yes? My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of the Emperor's visit any... Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come, your blades are waiting to greet you. Oh, if I found out of the Emperor's son... I would be free. I mean, this is weird. You know, and then just found out, you know, that that would be weird, okay? How would it wouldn't, like, what the fuck? They lied to me. My foster parents, supposedly, whoever, lied to me. <laughs> That's how I'd be thinking, but it doesn't matter. It's a game. They can the do anything they want. His sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. Do -do 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 but there is yet hope. <laughs> Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, Hail Dragonborn! Dragon Hail, Dragon Hail, Hail Martin Septim! Hail! Hail. 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 Shut up! The blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Put your second fucking you. swords away, bitches! Ah, I said that word too much there in his LP. I simply started. But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but I, I wanted you to know that I oh, appreciate oh. you welcome. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Uh. Thank you, Thank you, Captain. Ooh, fire! It burns. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The hey, so Martin, you're a pre of someone else's neck? Okay. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. <laughs> Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do. Commit thing to behave. Oh, yes. they Always have something blocking to you. What to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. Of course, the Amulet of Kings. So we, I, can take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires and stop the Oblivion invasion. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, we need the amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. All practitioners of Daedric magic are familiar with the almost impenetrable barrier between our world and Oblivion. What the Emperor told you implies that the amulet is the key to the preservation of that barrier. What I saw at Kavach. Everything I know about Daedric magic says that such stable portals are impossible. Yet those gates to oblivion existed. The old rules no longer apply. Kavach is only the beginning of what Mayrun's Dagon will do. If the amulet oh, is truly the key to restoring the barriers between our world and oblivion, you must waste no time in recovery. You got tax right there, okay? I haven't always been a priest. In my youth, I followed a different path. I know more than I want to about the seductive power of Daedric magic. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, when you're young, you feel you got yourself into some cult or something for a while. Something has changed to make these stable portals to oblivion possible. Joffrey believes that the death of the Emperor and the darkening of the dragonfires is the key. 
Don't worry about me. It's like, like I was saying earlier, before. Every time it's like someone talk, comes up to talk to you, someone something's always in the way, like a guard or something. Like in Fallout 3, you know the those uh, camel people. Um, and I go going up, and the the father, I, uh, I think Smith, was behind the wall. Freaking a. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? The Blades are sworn to the service of the Emperor as the mortal representative of the Dragon Blood of the Divine Talents. It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a Knight Brother of the Blades. One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. The coronation of each new Emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the Emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead, and no successor crowned. The Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. Yeah, okay, okay. May Talos guide you. What? Overcovered? What the fuck? I want to sell those. I don't need... Drop X. I don't need that. Don't need that. Yeah. Don't need that. Because I want to sell that spear sword, and actually I want to encrypt it. Let's see what it looks like. Ding! Looks like a katana. Because it is a katana. Okay. Our mission, apparently it's still to talk to him for some fucking reason. Is good. You're right. We must try to recover the amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the assassin. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. The amulet of kings is the key to everything. Once we have it back, Martin can use it to light the dragon fire. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Give my warm regards to Shut up. Shut up. I said shut the fuck up. Thank you. Whatever. Oh, oh, okay, he went in. Oh, yeah, whatever. Okay, we need to go back to Imperial City. Also, um, also tell you, I will be doing the arena, too. Yes, I will be doing the arena. Oh, it auto saves when you leave. It should auto save once you travel there. Get to there. Not not save when you're. You know what the fuck, man. What does it save before you actually enter a room? <laughs> oh, well, I I, th I think Bethena is off. To okay. Uh, let's save on travel and after travel. Okay. A little unnecessary, in my opinion. Okay, where the fuck I'm going? Okay. I have a shield? Yes, I have a shield. Let's sneak all the way there. All the way here. This game is awesome. But you're probably gonna join my playthrough. Maybe, maybe not. Not everyone does. No. Whatever. Alright, uh, okay, let's see. Who do I need to talk to? This guy right here. Sit down. Don't say anything. Just do what I say. Sit on stool. Listen, I'm going to get up in a minute and walk out of here. That guy in the corner behind me will follow me. You follow him. 
can't talk now. Just follow my lead. Okay. Good. Remember, wait for him to follow me. I want to see what he'll do. Now we need to go down here. I couldn't see. The enemy agent who attacked Burr was is dead. I should fight it out. Wiper has to learn about our enemies. Search his body. I'll keep an eye out in case any of his friends are nearby. Do do do, we're on short. It's like dawn. Come on, let's take this and this. I found a strange book about the Mystic Dawn cult. I should show this to Boris. Good work. I am glad to see you, by the way. You just caught me in a bad time. I mean, I'm lowering the fucking volume of the music. Wrong one. Seriously. The music's good and stuff, but it can harm you. The assassins who killed the Emperor were part of a Deirdre this was cult known as the Mythic Dawn. Apparently worshipped the Deirdre Lord Mayrun's Dagon. I've been tracking their agents in the Imperial City. I guess they noticed. So you said. That's very bad news. And why is he so fucking green? Issue with the fucking 360 version? Thank Talos he lives! Martin Septim, you say? We will restore him to the throne. It is the sworn duty of all blades! There's a scholar at the Arcane University. Tarmina's her name. Supposed to be an expert on Diedrich cults. Why don't you take that book to her? See what she makes of it. I'll keep running down leads on the Mythic Dawn Network. If you learn anything, you can find me at Luther Broads. May Talos guide you. Like I said, she's one of the brains over at the Arcane University. Supposed to know everything there is to know about Deidre cults. Okay. I hope you learned something from Tarmina about that book. This might just be the break we need. It's easy to hear like, peer out of nowhere in their fucking suit. Or, let's get out of here. What do you need, friend? Over here. Should we go find the Thieves Guild? Actually, I don't know. I don't remember where the Thieves Guild is. And it's raining. Yes, there's weather in this game. Hoppy, hoppy. Come on, I want to level up. I'm not going to stay level one for the whole fucking. Oh, I have to move unseen and undetected fly people or it's useless. Fuck you. There we go. <laughs> I want to level up, man. Oh well, I can just jump around for, to where I, all the where I need because I, I can level out too because it's a major skill. What's going on with you? Let's see, can I level up yet? I want to go level two. Come on. Return to their track. Whatever. Uh, I think I'm gonna end this episode now so I can look up some stuff and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye.